I will introduce the Rhino Grasshopper plugin Jellyfish. It is an implicit modeling plugin which aims at modeling, manipulating, and visualizing implicit geometries intuitively and fast. Comparing to the Mesh Rhino plugin, meshes made by Jellyfish can be adjusted to a high resolution and thus the surfaces are smoother. The secret to it is marching cube algorithm with parallel computing option, which extracts triangular outer surfaces from voxels. Let's start with basic components. From the toolbar of Jellyfish, there are six sections. There are functions, generates, operation, param, primitive, and utility. In function section, we can transform perf, mesh, and surface into implicit geometries. As for generates, either surface is an indispensable function to preview any models made by Jellyfish. In addition, Param has two placeholders, which are the mesh 3 Param and implicit function 3 Param. Moreover, operation contains many tools to deform implicit geometries. Furthermore, utility covers optimization and adjustments to user environment, say 3D printers. Let's look at functions. Implicit curve can reshape the selected curve into a pipe. So let's set one curve in Rhino. By parameters of input curve, CRV, radius R, which determines the thickness of the pipe. By connecting a number slider to R, you can adjust it. Implicit var curve var two points and implicit curve var three points has two radiuses and three different radiuses. By connecting the number slider with different parameters, you can adjust them. So you can see there are two different radiuses of two sides. Well, the location point L it is the thickest part of the pipe. By connecting a number slider ranging from 0 to 1 to L, the decimal number in the range represents the location of the topological points on the curve. Let's move it. So you can see the thickest part is moving on the curve. To preview them, we need to connect the output implicit curve C to the component of either surface input function F. While a number slider, we can adjust the resolution of the either surface. The higher the resolution is, the smoother the either surface will become. So by moving it, you can see the change of the resolution. We can also change either value, which is also positively correlated to the thickness of the pipe. By defining the parallel P as true while Boolean toggle, the process can be accelerated. Next one is implicit mesh, which can enlarge the mesh to three-dimensional geometry. Let's set one simple four-point mesh in Rhino. By adjusting the radius on the normal slider, you can see its volume has changed. As for the implicit mesh grid, while adjusting the input cell side, 
CS by number of slider, the isosurface surface can also turn smoother or rougher. The alternatives of radius of implicit mesh sided is input offset. It only stretches the mesh from one side. So it's very clear to see the single side of mesh sided while the front and the right view. On the right, the implicit surface turns the surface into mesh. So you can also apply the mesh editors functions to it, which is very convenient. Let's move on to primitive. Diamond, gyroid, and swords are three infill structures which have higher shear strength. That is how difficult an object against cutting is. Diamond and swords fill in a bounding box. So let's set a box in right now. By adjusting fx, fy, and fz, The density of holes from direction x, y, and z can be increased or decreased. Let's set them into zero first. So we can see that actually fx is vertical planes cutting the box. Well, Fy will rotate it while the Xy plane. And the Fz will create the final structure of diamond. It takes some time to process. Although the default ISO value is zero, which means that the pattern will just display on the surface of the box. However, if you adjust the ISO value minus, you will find the pattern shrink within the box. If you adjust it to a positive value, then you will find that the pattern lifts outside the box. Let's see what. We also set fx, fy, and fz as zero. So you can easily view that these words are cylinders. Creating host structure. Last one is gyroid. Gyroid is a unique structure of jellyfish. A special combination of a sphere and a box. By aligning the sphere in the center of the box and applying mesh mesh cuts, we can generate the gyroid shape 
by this. While Boolean toggle turn it to true, then we can we can transform the rounded gyroid to a rectangle with center sphere counting out. So these three primitives can generate organic structure of architecture, product design, which is very convenient and powerful tool.